Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and in today's video we are going to create this nice and simple loader which is going to be used for loading animation before the actual page loads and when it does this is how it looks like and I created this design in one of the previous tutorials I'm going to link it down below so you can check it out as well but in this tutorial we are just going to focus on creating this loader so let's get started Okay, so what I have here are my artboards that I told you from the previous tutorial and I'm going to leave the link down below. You guys can check it out and create something like this for yourself. So as I said, I'm using this as a design. You can cre recreate this design following that tutorial or use your own design for the transition. What I'm going to do first is select my artboard, click right here, then select this color to make it blue. I'm going to use my ellipse tool and make it 40 by 40. Position it that in the center, remove the border. I'm going to call it dot one, for example, or circle one, however you want to give it a name. Duplicate it for uh, three times to have four copies. This is going to be dot number two. This is going to be dot number three. This is going to be dot number four. And that's basically it. Next, I'm going to uh, create a loading text. So I'm going to use my tab tool loading make sure it's white that and for the font i'm going to use open sense like this it's a free google font and you can check it out online 28 regular and make sure it goes from the center position it here then here and then move it 100 pixels from the bottom you can use your own measurements this is just how i find that it works well now for the dots finally let's position them like this and uh, one final thing I can do is instead of coloring my artboard, I can actually uh, create my color layer, which is going to be easier for me to use later when I'm uh, creating these animations. So let's call this one color overlay, for example, and let's give our artboard back the white color like this. And let's give this layer, so color overlay, the color of this button. Let's remove the border. Let's give it the 1920 by 1080, so actual size of my artboard. Position it here and here, and finally move it down in a layer stack down to the bottom. Next, I'm going to group these, Control G, and give it dots. And finally, what I can do is simply create four duplicates, but I'm going to go one by one. So as you can see, this one is called collapsed. Let's extract it so duplicate it and let's give it expanded for example because in this one we're going to actually expand these dots so what i can do is simply double click on this first one and hold the shift key one two three four five six seven eight so let's give it 80 let's do the same with this one so one two three four five six seven eight and let's do the same for this one for example Next, what I'm going to do is simply position them in the center like this. Finally, hold my shift key, hover right here and rotate them to about here. Like that. Next, I'm going to make a duplicate of this artboard, so Control D. And I'm going to actually just rotate them like so. Make sure they are in the center, they are. And finally, make another duplicate and let me quickly move these so I can have a room for all of them in a row, something with XD like this, then I'm going to simply select them using my shift key and simply nudge them just a touch. For this final one, what I'm going to do is rotate it full circle, something around here I think it's going to look fine. And that's basically it. So. Once again, you can use any design that you want. You can recreate this one following the tutorial on the channel. And then we are going to connect them uh, between each other. So we are going to start with this first one. Uh, we are using these four copies, I forgot to mention, because if you create this as a component, and I can do that just to show you, so hit Control K. As you can see, we don't have, uh, we can create new state, but between states, we don't have time trigger. 
and we are actually going to use time trigger here because we want to create uh, different sort of delays different sort of transitions between all of these different circles and you cannot do that at the moment of recording of this tutorial with your components that's going to be extremely powerful when they introduce that feature hopefully in the future but for now you have to use these different copies of your artboards but it's fine because you're usually using these time uh, triggers and transitions for stuff like this for everything else majority of times you can actually use uh, components and component states so for this first one what we're going to do is move to prototype and i'm going to actually use my uh, time trigger so let's go with the time, let's go with the delay of 0.4 seconds, let's go with auto animate and use expanded, that's fine, ease in out and finally 0.4 seconds. So basically the same delay and duration right here. Next let's move to the next one. So I'm going to simply click drag, use time but here I'm not going to use any delay so 0.0, .0 press enter to get to zero. Auto animate, easing out 0.4 seconds. Next, drag to this next one. And I'm still not going to use any delay. I'm going to use exactly the same settings. And finally, what's left for me to do is on this last one, I'm going to drag it back to the first one. So use the same settings. So this animation goes round and round and round in circles. What you are going to see is this effect. So let me quickly preview my original project. So you're going to basically see something like this. It's going to go round and round and round and round in circles. And it's going to be endless basically. So there are two things to consider here. One is you don't have to do this. You can do this. So as you can see right here, one, two, three, four, that's it and it's going to transition to the design that you want. You can do that, or if you want to spin for more times, like this one, for example, you have to create multiple artboards in order to allow it to go for a certain number of seconds. So let's say that you want to uh, show this loader for let's say 10 seconds, you have to create enough artboards in order to achieve that time. That's one of the drawbacks of this design. What I achieved with this one is I actually use a tap trigger right here on the loading text on this last one, so here. And then once you click there, it's going to show the transition there. So you can do that and just explain to the client, okay, you saw the loader, they can see it as many times as they want, it's going to load endlessly like I showed you, but once they actually want to transition to this design, they simply have to click right here on the loading text, it's going to bring them right here. So that's what we are going to do for this uh, example as well. So at the moment, if I click right here, then right here to enter a preview, you can see it looks a little bit different. So it goes back in reverse, but you can do whatever you want with that. And it's going to spin endlessly if you just leave it like this. But finally, what we're going to do is bring a little bit of spice to our design. I'm going to select loading, bring it right here, use tap, auto animate, easing out and 0.4 seconds finally. Uh, you can use something like one second because 0.4 is simply not enough. So what I'm actually going to do here is go back to my design, go back here, use these exact uh, options that I have right here. So hit control C, paste them right here, hit control V. And what I'm going to do is simply double click zero to remove uh, loading opacity. I can do the same for these dots, for example, and for the color overlay, I can simply move it up like this, or you can simply type in one right here and reduce the opacity. So all of them are going to basically disappear. Now you have to do the same for this design. So simply select where it goes. So for example, we had loading dots color overlay. So from nav, go right here down, hit control C, or you can actually group them however you want. I'm just going to hit control C, hit control V to paste everything here, and then simply move it all down below. Now what you can do to uh, further spice this design even more is you can move some of these elements around. So you can move the text, you can move the nav, for example, you can do opacity. So hit zero on your keyboard two times to go 
talking to 0% opacity you can lower the size of this shape you can actually move it down you can reposition these shapes because they are in a group to achieve certain results and every time you do something like this you're going to get different and more interesting results because auto animate is awesome like that finally what we are going to do is actually lower the opacity of all of these items so double click your zero key bring all of this back and finally let's hit our preview and see how all of that looks like so click right here as you can see it spins endlessly and you can leave it uh, as it is as i showed you on this last one click and here is how our animation looks like and because these designs are animated as you can see it goes into that animation so that's basically it for this tutorial i hope you guys liked it if you did make sure to press that like button make sure to subscribe because i upload new videos every single week on design passive income techniques motivation and more so if you don't want to miss that make sure you subscribe and i'll see you in the next video take care